fractional efficiency, how fast we can do it in our calculator. Uh, this one here is actually one less operation, isn't it? Anyway, that's by the by. Next. Okay. So applying the rules this time straight away, that's going to be e to the 6 times e to 2 thirds. So we have a fraction here. What the rules then says, the rule from my previous video is here, since these two are same numbers, e and these two, we just add them. So we have this. Not should I add a common error that I see uh, you guys being students, you guys make. I see this. Oh, they'll just go, oh, it's six times two thirds. No, that's not the rule. Okay, that's wrong. And then multiply that, uh, add these two together. That's e to the 20 over 3. So we could just leave that there, or you could just give it right down to a couple of decimal places. Okay, finally, I have this algebraic expression x and y is just any numbers, general numbers, so I just leave them as x and y's. Um, we could leave it like this expression like this. We're not actually going to get, actually, uh, obviously, a final numerical answer because it depends on the value of x and y. But we can tidy this up. Why can we tidy it up? Because we can see that there's a half, there's a quarter, and there's eight. And these are some common factors here, isn't there? Being two. So if we apply the rule, we can simplify this expression. So it's worth doing. If there were no common factors, then there's no point expand to um, to multi to uh, simplify this thing because it wouldn't be able to simplify. So applying the rule, we have this x plus one to the four. That times that x plus y plus two to the power of minus two. We notice that this here expression that here expression are, are diff different which is fine for this rule okay. adding as well that this thing here you might see when you're doing I don't know in solving problems you might need to differentiate this kind of thing expression all right then this we can leave it like this or we could see that this is a minus expression so it's same as 1 over in other words I've got a fraction square like that. And you can even simplify this further, can't you? Because common factor of a 4 there, so you can do x plus 1 power of 2 and y plus 2. From which you can see that this thing, expression will be able you'll be able to get a numerical answer so long as y is not equal to minus two because then you'll be dividing by zero which you know you can't do if you've got something which is a finite number divided by zero then it ain't gonna work you get an error message in your calculator alright so that's the end of a video and I hope uh, now you feel more comfortable dealing with these powers of powers. Can we think about powers of powers of powers? Oh, let's uh, hope you never have to do that, but similar rule kind of apply. Okay, that's it.